In Matthew 5 and 13, Jesus describes his followers and believers of today as salt and light, clearly called to influence, improve, and make the world a better place. As I was watching a video today over Matthew 5, 13 through 16, they were describing that Jesus called his followers the salt of the earth. It is our job as Christians to influence, to improve, and to make the world a better place as much as we possibly can. And as I was, as I was giving it some thought, I realized that homemakers are very similar to how Jesus described his followers. So in the way that salt preserves, a homemaker will preserve memories, she will preserve food. Think about how many moms and grandmas and guardians of homes will be the ones who make sure that the pictures get taken and the videos get done. It's so similar in the way that salt is the preservation of foods and has been for thousands of years. Homemakers have an incredibly valuable place in the home as preservers. It is extremely important in the way that we preserve our family so that 50 years from now and hundreds of years from now, in some way, some part of the family that you have today will be preserved. Homemakers also improve things. How many of you have done a dessert recipe or really any kind of recipe, but imagine you're making cookies and you know in that recipe it's going to call for usually a teaspoon of salt or so, somewhere around there. And that little bit will bring such an improvement to the flavor of the cookies. Homemakers do that same thing. As homemakers, we have this opportunity to turn our homes into this beautiful, cozy, and comforting place for our families. And sometimes it is the most subtle things. It'll be the fact that you made sure to vacuum the floor that day so everyone could walk on a clean floor. Or you put a, a vase of flowers on the table just to add a little bit of cheerfulness into your dining room. Whatever it is, as homemakers, we always have this opportunity to, opportunity to improve, just like salt does. I'm a person who personally loves to salt my food, and I can't imagine not having it. It would be nowhere near the same if you didn't have that little bit of extra flavor to improve all the dishes and all the wonderful things that we get to eat. And homemakers get to do that same thing. We have all these opportunities all of the time to improve our home, to improve our families and the people that we love. And oftentimes I think some of those things that homemakers do can be overlooked, but they are so incredibly vital. Just imagine cookies without the salt. Homemakers, it's the same. Without homemakers, life just wouldn't be quite what it is. We don't need money, they can have it all. So I also found out that salt was once so important and valuable that Roman soldiers were sometimes paid in salt. And although that is not something that we do today, now we go to the grocery store and get our salt or online, whatever ways you get it. <laughs> but regardless, all of the value of salt has not been lost over all of these years. And even though we don't use it in a monetary way anymore, just the way that God looks at his people as Christians, he calls us the salt of the earth. I think homemakers are the salt of the home. We are so incredibly valuable. Everything that you do every day for your family and your loved ones, I know it sometimes doesn't get heard. I know sometimes you don't get thank yous and the things that you do every day just become so normal that everybody just considers it something that you should do. But it is really important. God thinks it's so important for his followers to be the people that influence and the people that improve and the people that are just there in a very subtle way that he called Christians the salt of the earth. So as a homemaker, to be the salt of the home it is an incredibly wonderful role for you to be able to have. Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Jesus Christ, our only answer. Jesus Christ, our only So 
I don't know if you ever feel like me or not, but sometimes the monotonous task like making the bed and vacuuming the floors all the time, we have a dog, we have to vacuum a lot. <laughs> and things like figuring out the meals and doing the dishes and the laundry, all of those things, they can be really tiring. But if you didn't do those things, if you didn't take care of that stuff, the house would just be in complete chaos. So the value of a homemaker sometimes can be so subtle and it can be unnoticed and it can kind of be a thankless job sometime, but it's so, so incredibly valuable in ways that I don't think some of us can even begin to understand. So I wanted to make this video to remind myself that my role as a homemaker and your role as a homemaker is so incredibly important. We are the salt of our homes. Jesus called his disciples the salt of the earth. They were there to improve and to make things better for all the people in the world and to bring them to God. And our role as homemakers in the home is very similar. You're there to improve. You are there to preserve. You are there to bring your family and your loved ones as close to Jesus as you possibly can. That is the role that all of us have as Christians. But as homemakers, we have this amazing influence over the people around us. How many times when you were growing up, did you look to your parent or your guardian to be the person who told you what to do or who helped you get through a problem? And now as a homemaker, you get to be the person who does that. Your role is so vital. Your role is so important. So start to view yourself as salt. You're so flavorful. You're there to improve. You're there to preserve. Your family and your home will be lost without you. I hope this video blessed you in some way today and made you feel a lot more important because I can tell you right now that you are incredibly important to Jesus and you are important to me. He loves you so much and so do I. God bless each and every one of you and I will see you next time. Bye!